Hey guys, it's Courtney King with King Realty. I said I was gonna go live from the beach. That didn't happen. I'm actually here in Houston on spring break with my family, but of course, my dad and I find some time to flip a house for one of our clients. So, I wanted to take a moment real quick and let's talk about if you are going to buy a property um, in an LLC or a trust. So why would you wanna do that? Well, number one, if you put a property or a rental portfolio in an LLC, the benefits is that it minimizes liability that would ever fall on you personally. So any liability um, would actually fall on the, um, the LLC, the entity, the company, and not you personally. So that's a why a lot of people do it. From a perspective of uh, buying a property in a trust, a lot of people buy properties in trusts or put them in family trusts um, in order to uh, pass the, the properties uh, easily later on to future generations or family members or keep it basically in a family so that whatever proceeds or whatever profits it's uh, making um, remain in the family trust according to how all of the trustees uh, designate it. So that's why people would do this. I wanted to share one um, really good experience uh, that I had recently, which I had no idea. Sorry, let me get this. I had to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> I had no idea this happened, but I had a client that we were selling her property um, in Arlington recently, actually, and it was a property that she bought in a trust with her husband, who is now deceased. So we go to sell this property, and we find out it never made it to the trust. So while she thought she had purchased it in the trust, she really didn't. So we had two options at that point we had to either contact all of her kids, stepchildren included, to get them to sign paperwork that they relinquish any rights to that property, or we would have to go through the whole probate. And a lot of people put properties in a trust in order to avoid the probate process uh, because it's a lot easier. So long story short, in that case, we got really lucky because all of the kids agreed to sign an affidavit of heirship, which basically relinquished any um, ownership of the property to my client. But guys, if you are buying a property in an LLC or a trust, you gotta make sure that you look at the deed and how the deed is being prepared. So you wanna make sure that it, it names the actual entity or it names the trust, because all of the documents that my client had um, the settlement statement, all of that good stuff, name the trust, except the deed. And when I tell you it was the biggest headache, it was, but we did overcome it. So there are ways around it, but you know, just be proactive as you're buying properties, making sure that you um, dot your I's, uh, cross your T's, and make sure you don't go through what my client experienced. Um, if you have any more questions about LLCs, trusts, why people use them, uh, maybe need a little bit of guidance on setting them up, I'm happy to help. I'm not an attorney. I'm not an expert by any means, uh, but we've dealt with a lot of these type of entities uh, over the years. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you want me to cover any, idea, uh, any additional topics regarding real estate investment, just hit me up. Um, and I will be back next week, and we'll chat more about all things real estate investing. Have a great day.